Okay, the service area of cylinders and prisms. Okay, when you talk about service area, it's not the amount of space that's involved, it's the area of the faces and the bases. So it's like when you paint something, okay? If you were gonna paint this room, what would you paint in here? The four walls, would you paint the ceiling on the floor? Probably not. Most of the time, ceilings don't get painted. Most of the time, floors don't get painted. Sometimes garage floors get painted. Sometimes ceilings get painted. Yep. Okay. But with a tile ceiling like this, it's not going to get painted. Okay. So when you paint just the walls, the walls are the lateral faces. So if you add up all the areas of the lateral faces, That is the lateral area. Now, if you add on the bases to that, if you add on the ceiling and the floor, then we're talking about the surface area, okay? All the area inside, okay? So, how are surface areas used? Well, when you make a cardboard box, you're not dealing with volume, you're dealing with areas. How much area of cardboard are you using? Now, you do deal with volume is how much space that cardboard box encloses, but when you're building it, figuring out how much cardboard it needs to take it, that's the surface area, okay? So that's the difference between area and volume. So if we look at this, we can use a net to help us figure out how to find surface area. Basically, we can cut apart the figure and unfold it, okay? If the height is five, here's the height of five. One of the sides is a width of four, the other side is a width of three. So if we look at this and unfold it, this area has an area of 20. That's the front, has an area of 20. The back also has an area of 20, back there. The left side has an area of 15, and the right side has an area of 15. The top is four by three, which is an area of 12, and the bottom has an area of 12. So if we add all those up, that adds up to 94 for the surface area, okay? So now let's do the surface area for this thing. So let's make a net out of it. So if we unfold it, there it is unfolded, okay? Now, the one base is 6 by 12. The other two bases, the other two sides of the triangle are 5. So this is 5, this is 5, which makes this 5, and this is 5, okay? And there by 12. So what's 5 times 12? 60. And what's 6 times 12? 72. So that's 60. This is 72. And this is 60. Now i got to figure out the area of the three triangles. If the base is 6 and the two sides here are 5, to find the area of a triangle, I take one half the base times the height. Well, I don't know what the height is, so I got to figure it out. So I split up this base into two equal parts. And now all of a sudden, I can use a Pythagorean theorem to figure out the height. So 5 squared c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So 25 equals 9 plus h squared. 16 equals h squared, so h equals what? 4. So, 1 half the base times the height, half of 6 times 4 is 3 times 4, which is 12. So this is 12, this is 12. So 12 and 12 make 24, plus 72. 24 and 72 make 96. Plus 60 plus 60 is like 216.
Okay? Are we good? Good there. All right. Well, while a net works pretty good, it's sometimes not always that practical because you get so many shapes involved. So if you unfold the net, what we figure out is the lateral area is the perimeter of the base times the height, and the surface area is whatever that lateral area is times two times the area of each base. Okay? So that works for any right prism. So lateral area is perimeter times height, and surface area is perimeter times height plus two times the area of the base. Now, we can see that formula right here, okay? Surface area is two times the area of the base plus perimeter of the base times the height, okay? I don't have the lateral area on there, but that's just perimeter of the base times the height. So then for a cylinder, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h is a surface area. So let's look at a cylinder. So for a cylinder, the lateral area is 2 pi r h. Because the circumference, which is the perimeter of a circle, is 2 pi r times the height of h. The perimeter times the height which is the circumference times the height, 2 pi r, h. And then, to find the surface area, it's the lateral area plus 2 pi r squared. So, lateral area is just the area around. It's like if you have a can and you have a label around it, what's the label? The area of the label. Okay? Like a soup can. If you take off the Campbell soup label and hand it into the school for money, that's pi r squared, or 2 pi r h, 2 pi r h, and the surface area is 2 pi r h, the lateral area, plus 2 pi r squared, because then you add the two areas of the bases. Okay, all right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to jump over to another page here. So we'll have to use those formulas to find areas and volume, areas, surface areas, lateral areas and surface areas. Okay. So this asks for the surface area of this prism. It's not asking for lateral area, it's asking for surface area. So the areas of each. Okay. If we want, we could use a net for this. And to make a net, you just kind of make a T. Like that. So if you have 10 and 6, we have 10 and 6 and 10 and 6. And then, whoops. All right. So um, I guess we could do it that way yeah so if this is folding how do we want to do that so the base